One night to speed up truth We had a promise made For us and then away Both under influence We had divine said To know what to say Mind is a race away To call for hands away Hey, great song. Sony thought that too. They liked it so much, they put it in their Bravia TV ads. Sweet. Maybe I'll put it in my surfing video and put it up on YouTube. Maybe it'll go viral. Chill for a sec. Whenever you see a pop song in an ad like that, you can bet someone got permission to use it. And the same applies to you and me and everyone. Artists benefit in many ways, by allowing their works to be used by other artists. Maybe they get paid. Maybe they grow their online following. Maybe they support a cause that's important to them. Jose Gonzalez got a lot of exposure from that ad. And the year after it came out, the song got re-released. Later, it was included by NME as one of the 150 best tracks of the past 15 years. So, maybe Jose wants his song in my video. Maybe, but that's his decision. Layla McCalla is a great example of an artist who got permission to use another artist's work. Her album, Very Colored Songs, is a tribute to Langston Hughes, a famous poet from Harlem. It combines his poetry with her music. Hey everybody, my name is Layla McCalla and I'm a cellist living in New Orleans, Louisiana. The album is called Very Colored Songs and it's a tribute to Langston Hughes. It's kind of a lot of work that I've been doing over the past five years. It's going to include some of the compositions that I've written to Langston Hughes' poetry, some Haitian folk music, and a couple of original tunes. Langston Hughes has been a huge influence on my creative life and I just love his uh, writing and so I wrote a lot of compositions over the past five years to his poetry. If I had a heart of gold to some folks I know I'd up and sell my heart of gold and head north with the dough it's sort of an homage to his life and his work and also the creativity that he's inspired in me. Even though McCalla was honoring Langston Hughes, she still needed permission from his estate to use his poems. If you have a situation where you need permission, you can try reaching out to the artist or owner. But there are also situations where getting special permission isn't necessary, either because you've picked a work that is freely available or because what you're doing counts as fair use. Check out the next video to learn more.